Hello everyone, I'm Ihsan. In this video, I will share 15 initial settings for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. Okay, now let's just take a look at the settings one by one. For the first settings that you can directly activate is the brightness settings in the quick panel. You can click on the three dot option on the top right, then select the quick panel layout. And here you just have to select the brightness control menu. And select the show always menu. So now you can find the settings for the brightness in the quick panel and also in the notification panel. Then for the second setting, you can also remove the button for the device control and media output. To remove device control and media output in this notification panel section, you can select the three dot option at the top right, then select quick panel layout. And then you can select device control and media output buttons. So if you rarely press this button because you don't use this feature, you can just remove it in the quick panel and notification panel by selecting don't show or you can also show it in the quick panel only. Here let's select the settings only appears in the quick panel. Then just click the done button. So now the device control and media output buttons will only appear when you open the quick panel. So your notification panel section will be much wider and can be filled with more notifications. And the third settings is still in the quick panel section. For a quick panel display on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 when you first turn it on, there are several useful buttons that have not appeared in the quick panel. So for the third tip, you can add additional buttons in the quick panel by clicking on the plus sign. Then at the top, you can find some important functions that are not yet available in the quick panel. You can directly add some important buttons such as camera access then microphone access. You can also add sync option. Then you can also add NFC directly to the quick panel section. Then there is also the extra dim feature which is not yet available in your quick panel by default. Always on display also does not appear by default in the quick panel. And then there is also the Bixby routine feature as well as the bedtime mode feature. And then there is the protect battery feature, wireless power share and also the secure folder and Dolby Atmos feature which you can add directly. Lastly, there is also a new feature called create notes to quickly create notes in the quick panel. After adding some important features according to your needs, you can immediately click done in the lower right corner. And now in the quick panel section, you can directly access some important important features such as activating Dolby Atmos or activating always on display directly in the quick panel area. For this new feature, you can also use it directly from the quick panel menu to quickly make new notes. Then the next initial settings, you can disable the Samsung Fair feature if you haven't used it yet. By default, in the lock screen, when you swipe like this, you will automatically open the Samsung Pay feature. If you don't need this shortcut and don't use Samsung Pay, you can enter the Samsung Pay application by opening it directly from the shortcut or you can also open the application directly through the app drawer. You can directly type and open the application. Then in the application, just go to the settings in the upper left corner. Then open the settings menu. And here just select quick access and disable the shortcut feature on the lock screen. If the shortcut also appears on the home screen, you can also disable the home screen option on the right. Then after disabling the shortcut, you can directly press the set button and the shortcut will immediately disappear in your lock screen. Then for the fifth settings, you can activate the full screen gesture and you can immediately remove the notification button below. Since the Samsung Z Flip 4 screen is already tall and become more aesthetic if you don't use the notification button, we highly recommend that you get used to using full screen gestures. Because if you get used to it, this full screen gesture feature will be much faster and more comfortable in using the smartphone. Especially for the Z Flip 4 screen that is tall like this. It will be much cooler and aesthetic if you use full screen gesture. To activate this full screen gesture feature, you can go to your smartphone settings, then go to the display menu. Then you just open the navigation bar menu and activate this swipe gesture feature. And now the buttons at the bottom will immediately disappear. To use the gestures is quite easy, just swipe up like this to return home. To see applications that are running in the background, you just swipe up and hold. And to go back, you can swipe from the right edge or left edge of the screen. And by knowing those three gestures only, the function of this button can be replaced immediately. And the sixth settings is that you can also remove the gesture hint that appears at the button. If you activate the full screen gesture feature as before, a gesture hint line will appear at the bottom of the screen. And for the next step, you can remove this line. You can go to the notification bar settings just like when you activate the full screen gesture. Then at the bottom, there will be a gesture hint menu that you can disable. 
After disabling this option, the gesture hint display at the bottom will immediately disappear and your screen display will immediately be cleaner and simpler without any lines on the screen. When you activate this gesture hint, it actually has a function that is quite useful to move between applications quickly. So to move to the previous applications quickly, you can swipe right on this gesture hint section to move directly to the previous application. And when you disable the gesture hint feature, you can no longer swipe directly at the bottom of your screen like before. But for this latest settings, you also have a pretty interesting workaround which you can activate to switch applications without requiring to show the gesture hint. You can go directly to the notification bar settings earlier, then you can immediately activate a new feature called Switch App when hint hidden. By activating this feature, you can now swipe to move between apps quickly without having to display the gesture hint at the bottom. Then the next feature, you can also directly activate the edge lighting feature so that your smartphone screen display can look more appealing when there are incoming notifications. To activate this feature, you can go to settings, then open the notification menu. Then here for the notification pop-up style option, make sure the brief one is selected. Then select the brief pop-up settings at the bottom. And then select its lighting style to custom its edge lighting feature. And here you just have to select the edge lighting style you want to display when a notification arrives on your smartphone. When finished, you just click done in the lower right corner and when a notification comes in, your edge lighting will look like this. Then the next setting is you can activate the notification history feature to see all incoming notifications on your smartphone. So all notifications that come into your smartphone will immediately enter into this notification history menu. To activate this feature, you can go to settings then select the notification menu. Then you can scroll and select advanced settings. Then here you can select the notification history and activate the feature. Now here when there is a notification that comes in after you activate this feature, you can see all the notifications directly in the notification history list. Then the next setting, you can also directly activate show all notifications. In the advanced settings menu, the same as when you activate the notification history earlier, in the show notifications icons option, you can tap and select all notifications. So the display of the notification icon that appears at the top can show more than 3 icons of the latest notifications. To show even more notifications, you can also move the clock position on the left to be on the right. We have shared the way how to move it in the previous video in the link in the upper right corner. Then the next tip, you can also adjust the transparency for the edge panel feature on the right side of the screen. To hide the edge panel display, you just have to open the edge panel, then go to the settings below. Then just press this arrow icon. Or you can also go directly to the settings via the settings menu, then select display and go to the edge panel menu. To open the transparency settings from the edge panel view, you can go to the handle menu and here you can set the transparency to the far right. So the edge panel display will not appear on your screen. If you want to increase the transparency to high so that it is not visible at all, make sure you remember the position of your edge panel. Then the next tip, you can activate the side key feature to turn off your phone. By default, when you press and hold the power button on the Samsung Z Flip 4 smartphone, you won't turn off the phone but instead you will open the Bixby feature. If you don't want to use this Bixby feature and want to turn off your smartphone as usual by doing press and hold on the power button, you can go to the smartphone settings, then go to the advanced features menu, then select the side key menu. In this menu, at the bottom, just change it to power off menu. So now you can immediately press and hold the power button to turn off your smartphone. Then the next feature is the show camera cutout feature. This feature is a deprecated feature that was previously existed in One UI 3.1. However, after the update of One UI 4 and above, this feature has been removed. And now this feature reappears in the Z Flip 4 series on One UI 4.1.1. You can find this option in the smartphone settings, then select the display menu. Then here you just have to scroll and select the camera cutout menu. And by activating this feature, you can now directly select certain applications. For example, let's activate it for the calculator application. You can select the calculator app, then select hide camera cutout. And now when we open the calculator app on the Samsung Z Flip 4, the top display will immediately appear black and disguise the front camera view. And to return to the original look, you can select the auto and the application will immediately fill the entire screen and will show the front camera view. Then the next setting, you can also hide the notifications that appear on the lock screen and also the cover screen. 
So when there is an incoming notification that comes in either from the lock screen or the cover screen on the outside, if you don't want to display the contents of the chat from your phone notifications directly on the cover screen, you can activate the hide notification feature in the settings. You can just go into your smartphone settings, then you can select the lock screen menu. Then here just select the notification menu. Then in the notification menu, you can see the option at the bottom called hide content. Here you just have to activate this feature so that the contents of your chat or notification content will not show directly on the lock screen and the cover screen. Then the next setting, you can also directly adjust the cover screen brightness in the display option. You can just swipe down on the cover screen, then swipe right and select the brightness menu. So here you can directly set the brightness for the cover screen without having to open the phone anymore. You can also find the settings directly in the smartphone settings. Then you can go to the display menu. And for the display settings, here you can set the brightness for the cover screen at the bottom. So to keep the video short and not too long, for more interesting features on the cover screen, and also some other cool features on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 will be shared in the next video. So make sure you have subscribed to this channel so you don't lose track with the next interesting videos. Hopefully useful, see you in the next video.